Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll be looking at layer norm, and we have seen uh, batch norm one D, batch norm two D. Uh, this is really an important procedure, usually used in uh, transformers, RNN, LSTMs. Uh, it does not compute. It does not rely on the batch to compute the mean and the variance, or like batch normalization. Uh, it, it can also be used in uh, convolutional neural networks, in vision tasks. So uh, let's take an example. So let's say we, we start with a tensor, uh, something like this, uh, that has a dimension of 2 by 3 by 2 by 2. So in here, uh, just like we saw in the batch uh, norm 2D, Typically, it is the batch size, and uh, I have, I really included. I have the the batch size is two here, just to really show you that when computing the statistics, we are not going to rely on it, or like batch norm two D. All right, batch size here means, for example, we have two images, and then each image has three channels. So it could be something like this. And then each channel is two by two. So this is essentially channel height and width. All right, so uh, the, first, the first image, maybe the first channel is R, RGB. Uh, this number of this number three it could be higher it depends on the on your image or on your own particular particular scenario for the second image this could be the red channel then the green 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 and then the blue blue channel let's make this blue one and blue two so this is not working and this is green one green two and then red one, red two. All right, I think it's important to visualize this. Uh, this particular image is on this. They are really something like this. This is the red channel, the red channel, the green channel, are G2, sorry, G1 and G2, and then blue one, and then uh, blue two. So, uh, just to be clear, these dots are actually uh, tensors. So this maybe could be, let's say, zero point one. I mean, this could be zero point four. Zero point four. All right. So let's see how it works. Now, layer norm uh, normalizes the data across the over the features not across the batches. So, unlike before, we in batch norm, we took R1, R2 to compute the mean, but here we're just going to take R1, uh, just R1 to compute the mean and the variance. Here, R2 will have its own mean and variance for normalization. All right, so this is essentially uh, R1, R1, R2, okay? All right, let, let's try, let's let's normalize R1. Well, let's say R1 is actually, uh, let, let's say R1 is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Well, R1 mean, we sum all the values divided by 4, 0.25, then R1 variance. We divide by four, of course, because we have four numbers. Well, how do we compute variance? We take, uh, we're going to take each value, subtract the mean, square it, and then all, all, all of those. So take 0 0.1 minus the mean, 0.25 square it, plus uh, 0 0.2 minus the mean squared, plus 0 0.3 minus the mean squared, all the way to 0 0.5, 0 0.4. So plus 0 0.4 minus 
squared. Then we divide by 4 because we have 4 numbers. Alright, so there is also a separate value, epsilon, which is actually uh, important. It's a very small number, 0.0001. You can make it, uh, yes, you can make it this. And uh, it is important for the normalization. And let's see why. So let's normalize 0.1. How do we do that? Well, we take, oh, sorry, 0.1, subtract the mean 0.25. We divide by the square root of the variance. I did not finish the variance. <laughs> Uh, this is actually 0 0.0125. Oh, this is clear. All right. The variance 0. Oh, sorry, 125 plus epsilon. We essentially add this very small number epsilon to avoid division by zero. So we get minus 1.3. So now 0.1 has been normalized to minus 1.3. You repeat for all the four values. After all, you end up with a tensor, something like this. Minus 1.3, then a separate uh, number. So now we have uh, normalized R, R1. We're going to repeat this procedure six times. Of course, I don't have to do it in the video, but maybe we can try for the green channel. We can try for G2. G2 itself is something, it's a tensor of 2 by 2. Let's say 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 2.0. We compute G2 main. Let's say it's 1.9. G2 variance, which is 0. Uh, let's say 0. 0.01. Okay. Uh, using this, you can normalize all the values. Maybe you, end, you can end up with something like this. Minus 1.3, the value at the value, which is also, and the dimension is also 2 by 2. All right, what, you, after you finish for all the six uh, channels, you put everything together to go back to the original dimension. You concatenate it to go back to the original dimension of... Uh, we get something like this dimension of 2 by 3 by 2 by 2 but that is not all uh, let's call this o, uh, o 1 output 1 what we need to do next is to multiply by gamma plus beta these are trainable parameters essentially they are uh, used for scaling and shifting. When we normalize, we end up with a unit variance. However, uh, a data with unit variance can end up uh, rest constraining the network, which can make it difficult for the network to learn complex transformations. So, uh, initially, this could be 1.0 and this is 0. Um, the uh, trainable means the are updated using uh, gradient descent. Uh, when you do this related dimension, you end up with a final output which has the same dimension as this. Alright, I hope this is very clear. Uh, again, as I mentioned, layer norm uh, can also be applied, usually really applied in transformers, uh, uh, recurrent neural networks, uh, LSTM and uh, usually natural language related uh, applications. Okay, and um, let me know if you have any question, uh, any question, please. Thank you very much.